so that was very wonderful last night uh, from Egan to her. That was, uh, that was, yeah, that, uh, and, yeah. When we're here, it seems so easy and straightforward, you know, it's, uh, and it's, you know, it's very simple. And, yeah, forgive me for this. This is, this is my, this is your greatness, Ananta, that you make what to me had been, and what I found with other teachers, remote and inaccessible, you bring it down and make it accessible. So, God knows I'm grateful. But here, you make it so. But when we go out there, so I get don't you, don't you, I have to use the word think, okay? <laughs> don't blame yeah. me. Don't you think that um, that's been the same f for, for me? I do. You know, like when and, I... And that's when why I, I value had, you so. You, you, you make, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like when I um, have been, say, with teachers or I've been in my own moments of recognition or whatever... That's been exactly the same for me, that sitting in that setting and within that thing that is this this absolute undeniable recognition experience, right? Mm -hmm. And then, what is the value of this experience if it cannot be challenged... Yes, yes, I agree. And ...by yes. absolutely everything? Yes, yeah. You know, That's part of the and it's in yeah. that challenging, it's where it gets challenged by life that the deepening takes place. Yes. You know, because in, in the challenging, you come to know what is unwavering. Yes. You know, if there's nothing challenging it, hey ho, how deep is your, how deep is that? Yeah, if there's nothing challenging it, when you are challenged by all kinds of weather, right, you come to know what is unshaken, what survives it all, what, and, and you come to know the value. Because this recognition without the value is just an experience. Mm -hmm. But where it gets its value is when you find within... I mean, I'm not saying just only like that. I'm not, I don't want to say it's only like that, therefore you need loads of great challenge and all that. I'm not saying that. Yeah, but I'm saying that the valuing of this and the deepening of this is by be it life throwing, throwing all it can at you for your particular unique, yeah, and through that, a deeper recognition, a deeper recognition, deeper recognition the recognition of what survives it all. Mm -hmm. You come to see that uh, the things that you're holding on to in life can all be lost mm -hmm. and will be. Yes. All right? Yes. But what survives it all is the only thing that's well in the middle of sickness. Yes. It's the only thing that is rich in the middle of poverty. Right? So, of course, in my case, which is each and every one has their unique, perfect case. Nobody needs to go to jail, okay? That was the karmic play for this one. But within that, the extreme of coming to know the value was uh, given. 
I had the value already of finding something that in the midst of, of every system, emotionally, mentally, physically, torn to pieces, one thing was still okay. Right? And that one thing started to show itself more and more and more. So that one thing became everything because couldn't, couldn't rely on the emotionality. That was complete and utter mess. Couldn't, the physicality was beaten and damaged everywhere. The mental, oh, don't even go there. Total destruction, right? But one thing that began to show what cannot lose its smile, right? The one thing that began to show more and more and more and more had all the value. And in, in my case, in that story, um, the valuing was, was the gift. It was, it was given. So, so coming back out into the world, it was just like mad looking at everybody where all their values are mm -hmm. and why they're suffering. They're suffering because all their values are chasing after things and trying to get things that give them a false security. Yes and trying to, you know, all the values were all in the wrong place. So I was like smashed to pieces and yet in a completely different reality, right? So, yeah, um, I, I, I feel that, I, I don't want to say that, uh, yeah, you need to be smashed to pieces and all of that to get the value, not at all because it's happening daily in your life you face all these challenges mm. right but somehow you have these ideas that you want the emotionality to be all calm mm. and peaceful and you want the body to be pain free and comfortable mm -hmm. and you want the, me the, the mentality mm -hmm. to just quiet down you know certainly <gasps> do. Yeah? yeah right <laughs> well Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? It, it's not about that. It's not about that. Yeah. A side effect w will come. A side effect does change all of that. When, you're re when your valuing is in the right place, that does affect all of that. Because you're no more invested in what you're grasping. Right? There is this, oh, fuck, oh, well, uh, you know, it's like you're no longer um, trying to control experience. Mm -hmm. So you may have the many who, who first wake up following that quite immediately after that. When I say first wake up, I mean the first great opening. Hmm. Following that can be the mo it can seem like the most difficult time ever, because then all the unmet dramas and karmas are fully fully working, yeah. And that was like that for me. Yeah, it was like that for me. Yeah, and that just called me into deeper, trying to to come to see what is that? How does this work? How does it work that this recognition is here and all that, all that? How does this come together? How does this come together? Instead of being here, I'm free, and here I'm a complete and utter victim of circumstances yeah how does this come together and that was my living inquiry from the beginning because no teacher was answering that for me mm -hmm. and that's probably why the expression is the way it is yes you know because there was no place i could go i could go yeah. and sit with a teacher and get direct recognition yeah but that same teacher couldn't talk to me about the play yeah. of all the 
Yeah, and so that was really a, um, a real strong, strong leftover. Like I said before, the initial opening recognition, there are leftovers. And these leftovers have to play out. You know, and the leftover for me was to come. I wanted a clear understanding of what's happening in a relationship with man and woman. What the fuck is that, you know? Like, I ju I'm all okay, and then I get in the thing with him, and all of a sudden, everything's all activated. And the, I want to understand how can I know this and be this in the midst of that, and does that change? How can that work in harmony without it being a relating of two-ness? You know? Mm. I wanted to know, come on, you know, if I am that and he is that, why we cannot meet as that and be, play as that? You know, this was my number one leftover question and nobody was there to answer it. So it became the journey to explore that. And I guess that's, that's why the sharing is like it is with all the layers and multi, you know, because I was led to so many different explorations in that, that are just now part of, I will never say that I'm fully integrated or any teacher is, mm -hmm. nobody is. Because nobody can be separate from the collective. Integration is happening for humanity, not for some and not for others. Right? There's no separation. I mean, if you really get that there's no separation... Yeah? So, uh, yeah, well, your question was, it's okay in here, but what about that?